This is the Texas Star Geometry Test. These are the released questions from 2013. This is question number one. It says line segment CD has an endpoint of 2, negative 1, and a midpoint of 8, 3. Which measure is closest to the length of CD? Okay, I know what a midpoint is. I know that when you have a line segment, it's the point in the middle. Hmm, I don't want that to move. Okay, there we go. So if I'm finding the length of the whole line segment, <clears throat> I know that the length of the midpoint, the length to the midpoint is going to be half. Uh, and I'm given some coordinates. Let's see, can I find lengths if I know coordinates? Well, if I didn't remember that, I could look at my formula sheet and remember the distance formula. Okay, so I think I understand the problem pretty well. I think my plan will be to use the distance formula on those two coordinates. And then I'm going to have to double that. I'm going to have to remember to double that because um, that's only the distance to the midpoint. I want the whole length. So that's my plan. All right, let's do it. Let's start by writing down the distance formula. D equals the square root of the difference of the x-coordinates squared plus the difference of the y-coordinates. Probably remember that's derived right from the Pythagorean theorem. If you wanted to graph C and D with your graph paper, you could do that and <clears throat> make a triangle, make a right triangle, and think of it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and just use that formula. Okay, so my x coordinates x1 is going to be 2, there. Uh, x2 is going to be 8. Okay, y1, that's going to be negative 1, and y2 is going to be 3. If you did it the other way around, uh, if you had 1 and 2 reversed, it's not going to matter because uh, you're going to square it. Uh, so whether your answer is positive or negative, it's not going to matter. Uh, for instance, 2 minus 8 is negative 6. That's the same as 6 squared, which is 36. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. 36 plus 16 is 52. So I've got the square root of 52. Let me just pause for a minute and grab my calculator. Okay, I got my calculator and found that the square root of 52 is approximately 7.2. Now wait a minute, that's not one of my answer choices. So let me think about this. What was my plan? Oh, that's right. My plan was to find the distance to the midpoint, but then I have to double it because I'm actually looking for the whole length. So let's double 7.2, and that gives me 14.4. And 14.4 is one of my answer choices. How could I check that? Well, I could go through my math again, double check all the subtraction that I did, all the squaring. Uh, I could also go ahead and graph, graph those two points and kind of eyeball, does it look like they're seven units apart? Um, those would all be good ways to check your answer. And see that it is in fact C, 14.4 units. Thanks for listening.